This tutorial demonstrates the use of Subversion within the True Studio IDE for managing complicated projects where you may have multiple revisions of a project which may need to be maintained and released. Subversion supports the concept of a trunk, tags and branches and when you create a new project within Subversion those areas are automatically defined for you. Here I have a project and it has a trunk branches and tags. When you create a new project and import it into Subversion, the sources get put into the trunk. This is the default and it is normally the place where the majority of development work will be done. Tags on the other hand are usually reserved for snapshots of sources. So for example if you wanted to do a release of a product version 1.0 you would snapshot the release at that point and save it as a tag and they are normally named. So you create a snapshot and you give it a specific name for example here we have tag 1 and by convention tags are not modified. So of course you can check a tag out and of course you can build from it so that you can create your deliverable but the tag itself or the contents of the tag itself should theoretically not be modified. So version doesn't stop you from doing this but it's a usage policy. Branches can have two different uses. For example, a branch may be a small amount of work carried out by a small number of engineers which may or may not get integrated back into the trunk and may or may not cause some other instability within the trunk during its development. So a branch normally is a copy of the trunk that had taken at a certain point in time and then developed for a period of time and when it's decided that that functionality is stable and wants to be reintegrated back into the trunk it will then be merged back into the trunk. Those are so-called development branches. The alternative use of a branch is what's called a release and maintenance branch and in that instance uh, when the trunk is taken to a certain point and a release wants to be generated let's say for example version 1.1 of your product you'll generate a release and maintenance branch for that that then effectively snapshots the functionality of the release at that point in time and allows you to go through the full release cycle and also subsequent maintenance releases should you need to for the product so if you uh, are a company which wishes to maintain multiple versions of your products, version 1, version 2, to your customers, um, then release and maintenance branches are a good idea. If you're a company who always wants your customers to use the latest version of your product and therefore the older versions are no longer maintained, then you can effectively do all releases from the trunk and you don't need release and maintenance branches. So version doesn't mandate either the use of releases from the trunk or release, bra release and maintenance branches. That's purely a usage model which normally is company dependent. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at how to create a tag. So I have my trunk checked out and I have a version of my code which I think is stable and I'd like to release that so I would like to place a tag. What I can do is right click team menu, tag, and I need to give a tag a name. So I can say, for example, tag rel1. As with all commits into Subversion, the commit must be given a name. So, and then I can commit it back to the system. Now what I didn't do was uh, change my working copy, in other words the source base that I'm working on, away from the trunk. So you'll see here that I'm still working on the trunk. If I then come to my tags area and refresh, I can now see I have a tag rel1. So creating tags is literally that simple. If I want to switch to using that tag, then that's also quite simple within the IDE. I can come under team switch and this basically asks me what would I like to switch to and I can browse and it very nicely pulls up my project and trunk tags and branches <coughs> within the, ta the tags area I can see I have my tag rel1 click OK 
click OK again and you'll see now that my Project Explorer has shifted me to working within TagRail 1. So theoretically I can do that and do a build and do a release of my binaries from that location. So switching backwards and forwards between tags, branches and trunk is extremely easy within the IDE. It's purely a case of selecting which one you want to work on. I'll move back to the trunk. So once again, go back, switch. In this case I'll switch to the trunk. You can see it's changed here. 